Hello guys, it's P991, and recently I did a video of Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door for the Switch where I beat Gus in the prologue. Now Gus is a character that I think you're not supposed to beat till later on, but you can really beat him at any point. Now in that video, what I did was I beat Gus, but I took advantage of what's known as super guarding, which is where you don't take any damage, and in most cases you do damage back to the foe, right? But the, for those of you who aren't that good at super guarding, I'm not that good at it myself, in all honesty, at least not like, you know, people like Bringle and whatnot. But you don't actually need the super guard to beat Gus. Gus only has two types of attacks. He has the charge and he has the spear throw. Now, what you do is, at the beginning, you put Goombella in front, right? And then you tattle on Gus. Now, he should attack Goombella unless he throws the spear, which, if you guard, it only does about two damage. So what you do is... Every turn after the initial tattle, you simply put Goombella in defensive mode because she can't attack Gus anyway because her spear is pointed up. So, you keep putting Goombella in defensive mode and keep guarding, doing regular guard, which means that Gus should only hurt her about one each turn. Meanwhile, attack with Mario's hammer, which should do two each turn, meaning that you only need about ten turns before you defeat Gus. Goombella should be able to last a total of nine turns, and that's if Gus attacks her each time. Which means that even if she faints, you should still be able to defeat Gus. And afterwards, at this point in the game, you should get about 22 star points for defeating him, which is a lot at this point in the game. So that's how to defeat Gus in the prologue, even if you're not that good at super guarding. Thanks for watching the video. Remember to like, share, and subscribe, and may God bless you all.